Hey everybody, welcome to Lesbian Love. This is Lacey Stone and I am Jessica Clark. So um, today we're talking about a topic that many of us have encountered in our years of lesbianism, uh, the ex. Do you even have an ex that you had to get over? Not really. I, no, She's perfect. Everyone. No. Just kidding. Yeah. Um, I mean, at the time, yeah. I mean, my my first big relationship was sort of, it was it was odd and with a boy. <laughs> hey, there are a lot of bisexuals and curious Just, people. I know. Don't pay any attention to her. Don't listen to the gold stars, ladies. So how'd you get over him? Um, it was that old cliche, that time thing. Love. Takes time. I'm not gonna sing because then you would turn off. You're hurting so much. <laughs> yeah, I think time is the bit the whole big cliche and someone says, Oh, you know, it's gonna take time, and you're just like, No, it's never gonna win. It's, it's never gonna, gonna get over this then. blackness, this darkness I'm it's gonna seeing. Rule the rest I'll of never my be life. able to wake up again with a smile on my face. Right. And at the time it's really, really true. And 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 equally the cliche is really, really true, and eventually over a period of time, the pain does fade. I think for me, what was difficult is, was that it was very much my head that was precipitating the move rather than my heart. My heart was still kind of in it and my head was like, bad, this is a bad idea, Jessica, this is really bad, this is really unhealthy, you gotta leave, you gotta break up, you gotta leave, you gotta break up. And I did leave and then I would go back and I would leave and go back and Oof, that that's kind never of good. is not good. And it happened, I think, most of the way through my teenage years. How many years. times, what's fair? Leave, come back twice. Once. I say don't go back anymore. I say it's done. But you should always give someone a second chance. I maybe. think if you leave more than twice, there's a good reason for it. Unless, and this is the other thing that I don't, that, that it's a different thing, that kind of drama, make up, break up, and get hooked, hooked on the drama cycle. Right. The people that get really excited by arguing and then kind of like to make out afterwards, that kind of thing. But that's not really what Save we're your drama about today. for your mama. That's another talk. That's a whole another vlog. That's a whole another vlog. Wowzers. Okay, so time. So time is time is time is time is good. Time will is definitely it definitely goes by. What else? What else helped you? Because you definitely have like an ex. <laughs> um well man, depression helps, therapy, a little uh, little antidepressants. Um, that helps in the beginning, I gotta say. I'm being a jerk, I mean, but it's true. It's really hard in the it's beginning. If, and if you feel like, it, you know, if it really has got drinking, to that point. Drinking, no. Um, no, I'm kidding. So, I kid, I kid. What's that from, Rachel Zoe? I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, let me say something. Anyway, like, so ignore I, I'm gonna get real. I'm trying, paragraph. like, being funny because I'm, like, trying not to talk about it. Because it was one of the hardest things ever. Jessica and I were, like, in this relationship for a little over a year. On her birthday, she took me to a hotel and we're, like, drinking the champagne. I did do it in a nice hotel. And we're though. hanging out. We had a little bit too much to drink. And she goes, I'm tired of the ghost in this relationship. It was my Princess Diana moment for all you English people out there. You know, and she's there with all the eyeliner and she's like, Where is she know? gonna be? There were three people in this relationship. And there were. You Only know? The you know? That's what she said. And I'm like, are you kidding me? It's like you, it's me, and then it's like it's like this woman that I can't even compete with because she's not here. She's not here. She's just a figment of my imagination that isn't even real anymore. She's not real. You keep this made up story of this person on a pedestal. It's ridiculous what we do in our little heads. So anyway, how did I get over that? Well, you know, man, there was that point, I don't know, some of you will be able to relate to this. You have their number burned in your head, and then one day you wake up and you forgot their number. That's a great day. That's how you know. That's I a great day where you're like, three, four, seven, da 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 I forgot her number! And yes! the, other one, the other one that's good is when you've stopped reading her horoscope. That's good too. Yeah. That's an excellent. Yeah, because you know why you're still checking that horoscope. Facebook is a disaster for you young Ooh. lesbians. Disaster. What do you mean you Block young them. Lesbians. I block like, the like, block. Like Don't she's look any at different. their status. Who cares? It's not even real. So that's my space. I'll Facebook like jazz. stalking. Yeah, cyber Rough. stalking of the ex. I'm so happy Doesn't I didn't help. have that. Um, so what are we talking about? So do you? So what? what so do you think you should defriend your ex? Well, defriend. Is that what you're saying? Do you think? I think. Think. Let's just like, get to let's get to tangible things that, that I think. Because I really dealt with this this situation with you, and I'm I'm good. I communicated with you yes. in terms of the ex. They never go away. You loved them. Let's deal with that. You loved them. They're gonna be in your heart. You can't deny that you hate them, because you don't. There's a fine line between hate and love. 
All right? Yeah, if Fine you feel one, line. you probably feel the if other If you hate two. someone, you probably kind of love them too. So when you come to terms with the fact that you had good times together and that was then and this is now, that's good, you yeah. know? Another thing that I find is, you know, you're in this drudgery of, oh my God, I'm never gonna survive. And what you need to do is find your, I'm gonna sound very Oprah-esque, but you need to find your passion, what makes you happy in your life. Right. And really focus on that, find yourself. And, and I don't know what that is, read some books, like travel, uh, talk to people, figure out something that makes you happy. Not being with that person, that person doesn't make you happy, that's called codependence. It's, there's Al-Anon, you can go to groups yeah, for that. Yeah, they don't complete but, you, like you know that whole Jerry Maguire thing, like you complete me? That's not good. It's not good, not like good. that's held up as being the romantic ideal, and then you know what happens, you break up. That's, even the, like, that's the movies, that's, that's selling the, movies. That's selling and, the blockbuster And they're not rights. even that good movies, like even if you're in a really great relationship, like you and I have a very great relationship, we're very lucky. We that's work, true. We work really, really hard it but Lacey doesn't complete me and 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 I will never let another person complete me okay ah! <laughs> no I'm just kidding no I'm just saying yeah because then because then it's the relationship, it's if the relationship yeah if the relationship does break down because even if it's right that the, the relationship breaks up like very often relationships break up for very good reasons like your ex is usually your ex for a reason this is the thing that's nice forget. though you do really you really do you are part of my soul and my heart you know what I mean but I don't think it's healthy for mine. you to say that you complete, like that's right. not you're good. you're part of mine too, but mine would go on. You know, I hope it never has to, so don't. Your heart will go on, don't. like the Titanic. Um, so anyway, the point is, is that. Uh, so find your passion, like develop other things. Yeah, if you feel like the, the like all you have is your relationship. Or another person, I need to, I need a girlfriend. I need, that's the first, that's, you gotta stop yourself. You don't need anything. You gotta get your shit together and, you know. It's and, all within you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you build it, she will come. And personally, I think if you. <laughs> it's like Field of Dreams. I don't know, I like movies. There's a lot of Hollywood movie quotes in today. Um, so I personally think if, there, if there's an ex that you are having a really hard time getting over, I, I'm not sure how helpful it is to have MySpace and Facebook and Gotta get rid of whatever that. else. It's like cutting up an open wound and putting salt in it. Days. Salt. It's yeah. never gonna heal. That whole stalking, stalking, stalking. Get away from her. Looking for photos with her with a new girl and all that kind of thing. It's not gonna help. It's not good. You think it's Staying gonna help? friends it's with her. Gonna we help. gotta talk about that. And too. then if the right new girl is prettier than you, then that sucks. If the new girl is not as pretty as you, that sucks too. Like you're never gonna be happy. You are never gonna find any information that you want to hear on these things. If it's genuinely a relationship that you are emotionally hurting over, like it's not gonna it's help. True. You're tormenting yourself. Okay. Well, we'll see you later. If you have anything to comment on about what we talked about today, you know what to do. Okay. Thanks for stopping by Lesbian Love. Bye.